can't go to sleep on that Lamar fast break. Mike Oliver's record set 30 years ago is gone by the board. Oh. They make the one in the catch. Touchdown Cardinals. That's Marcus Jackson. Marcus Jackson. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out here today as we continue the growth and success of Lamar University's soccer program. I first want to thank Coach Hardiman for his leadership and dedication over the past four years. Him, himself, his staff, and his student athletes have done a great job elevating this program to new heights. Um, this was capped off by a third place finish last year in the regular season and another Southland Conference tournament appearance, so we're very happy about that. After a long and exhaustive search, we are very pleased to announce that we have found our next head coach for the Lamar University women's soccer program. Orlando Cervantes brings a wealth of experience and knowledge as he becomes our third head women's soccer coach. He has been a head coach at Embry-Riddle and has had assistant coaching stops at San Jose State, Cal Poly State University, and most recently at Indiana University. Orlando has been involved in the Olympic Development Program as well as many various youth organizations. Orlando has great recruiting ties and is shown to be a tireless worker on the recruiting trail. He has a demonstrated commitment to not only recruiting quality athletes, but quality students to continue th the success in the classroom that the women's soccer program has shown each and every semester. Ladies and gentlemen, the new head coach of the Lamar University women's soccer program, Orlando Cervantes. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, uh, Jason and Helene for giving me this opportunity to come out here to Lamar University, Southeast Texas, and everybody here, I'm pretty excited to be here. Well, I actually had a friend of mine who had talked to me about the position and said it was a really good position uh, for head coaching. Um, the area was great. Uh, recruiting Texas is, you know, Texas and California are probably two best states for recruiting uh, soccer, men or women. So that was a huge, huge thing for me was to be able to have the recruiting ties in Texas and also internationally as well as California like, uh, like Doey has already implemented here. Right. Off and running. I mean, uh, you, know, you, you try to do as, as much work as you can when you, you get out of the position, try to research everything, look at video, um, anything you can just to get up a hand. But it is kind of a unique situation where it's, it's, it's late in the ball game, so we've got we to gotta hit, hit the ground running. So I'm excited about that. Having met, met a lot of the team, I just met a few players that are here on campus, so can't wait for them to get in, meet them, and, and start building some relationships with them as well. Um, you know, it's, it's something where, for me as a coach, it's 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 a, always been a goal of mine since I started coaching at 16 years old to become a head Division One uh, women's soccer coach, and and now it's not only just getting here, but also hey, what do you want to do? Our, my goal is to get to the NCAA tournament every year and to actually to actually do well there. It's not just coming with the conference. It's, I, I want to do what what you know basically basketball did last year. You know, in terms of winning the conference tournament, getting in the, getting in the, uh, the and the big dance, as they say, and, and show some people how good, uh, good Lamar soccer can be for sure. Well, it's a good question because I, I started off coaching at smaller schools, NAIA, and it was basically myself and, well, it was just me. <laughs> and, you know, you work with small budgets, you, you fundraise, you do whatever. It's a part-time job. Actually, you actually lose money doing those jobs. So uh, as I decided to go back to Division One, I, I thought it would be important to, to go to a BCS school, uh, something that was a little different in terms of hey, how they do things here, um, you know, bigger budget, uh, a lot of resources. So I'm kind of taking all those little pieces from all schools where I've been and, and, and trying to build, build the best program that I can here at Hale Lamar. I should continue uh, what was already built here. So there's, there's a lot of things you can piece from, from every single place you've been, you know. And this is, uh, this is a unique school where it has a, a lot of resources, especially for women's soccer, I'm pretty excited about. Yeah, I definitely... Uh, I want to make each player a better person. When they leave, when they leave Lamar, I don't want anyone to ever say, "Hey, he taught me he soccer, and that was it." I mean, I want to kind of impart life lessons, mistakes I've made, or good things I've done. And this is this is a great age for for kids to kind of leave here and say, "All right, I'm ready for the real, real world." I uh, coached youth club for a lot of years, and it could be a could be a nice situation, but it just it's not as rewarding to me as working with players of of this age and to be able to impart things else outside of soccer. So really try to build a relationship with players um, to make sure that, that they know that you're there for them, that you're doing the best you can. Soccer-wise, I like playing an attractive style of soccer, uh, very attack-minded, but defensively organized. 
uh, it's for sure very important to me. Especially I was a I was a center back growing up, and and I, I always uh, those forwards that just kind of score goals, get their names on the papers, and we do all the hard work. We got to make sure that we're all organized behind the ball and be able to do nice, uh, you know, be able to create goals. And, and when, when we do have the ball, to have an attractive kind of flair to the game, which is very important to me for sure. It's it's tough already because it's a it's a tough road trip. I don't know if uh, Air Force of Wyoming. It's you're playing at altitude, and I've played there before with uh, with other teams of mine. It's a tough road trip already. So you got to get in there, give them confidence that they can do these things, organize as fast as you can. Uh, you know, I have to see them play. Obviously, I've I've seen video. I've been able to to kind of to see that in different you know, at different times. But I've got to get a feel for them. I got to know what they can do, what what they're the improvement on, organize them, get them ready for that, because those are going to be some tough games right off the bat, for sure. Our goal is, you know, in the end, to win our conference, both regular season and also the tournament. It's all been my philosophy to try to schedule as many tough games in the beginning of the year so you can get ready for the conference season. Uh, to me, it's, we did a lot of Cal Poly. We were scheduled North Carolina. We scheduled these big games to kind of prepare us for the tournament, because in the end, I mean, that's what you have to win the conference, you have to win the conference tournament to, to go anywhere. So that's, to me, the preseason has to be as, as tough as possible. I want to thank you all for coming, and uh, I look forward to, to being a part of the Beaumont community, the Southeast Texas community, and, and we'll hopefully do good things here. Thank you.